Book of Boba Fett, Chapter 5. Was it good? I'm Ravi. I'm Krishna. And I'm Arjuna. And this is Was It Good? Damn it, no one did it. (laughs) Yes, as Arjuna just pointed out, this is Was It Good? The podcast where we review movies and TV shows. And of course, we're talking everything Star Wars, Book of Boba Fett, even though he wasn't in the episode at all. He was Instead, mentioned. these amazing weapons that I'm holding, this best car spear was there that is now no longer uh, part of his costume. So, R.I.P. Get rid of that. R.I.P. Uh, best car spear. Best car spear. It lasted best a whole, car. I don't know, six episodes. Not even. It was literally there just so he could win the dark saber. <laughs> Basically. Basically, it was there. It was plot device. Oh, this, this thing. And then they're like, oh, God, Din has too many weapons. Uh Melt it down. <laughs> Melt it down. So obviously in Book of Boba Fett, chapter five, we see Din kind of reunite with the armorer and uh, Paz. Is it Paz Vizsla? Paz Vizsla. Paz Vizsla. And the armorer takes, you know, said best car spear and melts it down. Uh, and he says to her, you know, I want something f- made for a foundling. Obviously the family being Grogu. Um, we get a kind of sneak peek. It looks like little staples or... Can, well, it you looks know, like, like chains, chains chain or something. So yeah, you, you would assume it's like a necklace or a pendant of some type. So you think you think it's a necklace? I think it's probably the mudhorn symbol, right? That's his sigil right now. That's like his family ooh, crest, ooh. and Grogu is his family, and so he probably made him a little one. I, I'm hoping it's like a, a chain whip. And then Grogu can just like whip people with what his chain. What the fuck? We, well, this we, is a children's did, story. We, we did see the packaging, right? It is. It is that they made it just look at just look like just like Grogu's head. Yeah, the they so tied cute. it. So it is very small. So uh, it's yeah. either a tiny helmet. No, which would be amazing. Make, that doesn't make a sense. small helmet would be incredible. It would like, be like, pretty like cool. a hat. Yeah, <laughs> like little, yeah, because like that little that little like handkerchief <laughs> thing with um whatever is in it is kind of too small. For his head, his head is probably the size of like he does have a my fist head. compared yeah. to maybe the rest bigger. Of his body. Actually, I have a Wait, life no. size Grogu somewhere. Well, that thing's not life. That's not life size or accurate. Bigger. But it's probably it might it's probably a little bit bigger. But like, look at that thing's head. If you're watching on uh, our YouTube channel, yes, yeah, so our YouTube channel is YouTube.com/slash Was Good. These pods are fully video on there. If you want to take a look and see, see our pretty faces, yeah, you know, I was gonna say hideous faces, but that well, works you know. too. Uh, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. So you, you, Arjuna thinks it is a necklace. You think it's a whip of no, some kind. I'm no, 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 no. That's no more guesses. No. Is it that's like it. that Rihanna song where she's like, "Chains and whips excite me." Nah, nah, nah. Come on. What has Rihanna done lately? I haven't heard she her. She hasn't in a while. come out with an album in a long time. And a lot of Rihanna fans are actually really angry about it. Do you think she'll show up in the halftime Super Bowl show? No, because she's too busy with her makeup line. Oh well, there you go. Anyway, uh, so Christian thinks it's a whip. Um, I, I, you know what I think is kind of weird is the this best car Spears is a big ass solid piece of best car. Um, I know, right? but she only melts down the tip. Right. Oh, she totally stole the rest of it. Right. Right. Like yeah, that's she so totally fucked. stole it, and then she kicked him out. Yeah, that's oh, so. She's like, oh yeah, fucked. you took off your helmet. Fuck you. Get out. Yeah, uh, I'm keeping the spear. Yeah, yeah. which yeah. is like I would kill her. I kill her. Well, wow. well but here's the thing: though, was like she said the the act like existence of that spear is dangerous to Mandalorians, right? Yeah. And then she's able to convince it because it can pierce Mandalorian armor, you know, Beskar. And then she convinces him to melt it down, and only gets the tip of it, right? For this, for what looks like I thought it was sh- like chainmail, yeah, mm. which would look kind That's of weird for him, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, him like looking all medieval. Mm. Yeah, I mean, we've obviously seen some of the fanfic stuff that people did around season two um, on Instagram and social media and stuff of him like wearing full on Mando. Mando. Grogu wearing Mandalorian armor and stuff. So uh, I think there's a, some one of us might be me has a t shirt of uh, Grogu in full Mando yeah. armor. Where'd you get that t shirt? You know, probably uh, our supplier. Our supplier. Gotcha. <laughs> yeah. uh, real quick. Um, we might as well just say this right now, right? So the legend of uh, the the dark saber, right? Yes. A Mandalorian who is also a Jedi. Correct. Uh, it, it, doesn't it seem like Grogu is the next? You know, it's going to be the the combination of both. <gasps> what? No. no. I so have. <laughs> and so then- my question is this then, right? So if he's the one who saves Mandalore, that means we're going to see Grogu at some point wielding the dark saber, cutting people's heads off. 
<laughs> I mean, possibly. I think the other thing that kind of leads also to your theory is, um, and I don't know if this is, is being done to kind of set it up, you know, for somebody the size of Grogu, but a lightsaber with kyber crystal, the length of the bl energy blade is dependent on the user as well and their connection with the uh, crystal, right? So this being the dark saber, there is a kyber crystal of some sort in there. And for Din, because he wasn't using it correctly or whatever, the sword became heavier and heavier. Um, and the blade was also pretty long. But when the armorer turned it on, if you guys noticed, it looked shorter, yeah. you know, for her height. Um, so I wonder, oh, like, that's interesting. I, didn't catch I wonder that. if when, you know, if, if Chris's theory that Grogu gets it at some point, um, will it be more, like, pint size? Well, the armorer, <laughs> the armorer kind of called Din straight up like an idiot. Oh, she's just totally. Like, she's like, you are strong physically, but you lack any mental fortitude. You are basically an no, idiot. You are you basically lack focus. a stupid man. No, she said you lack focus, which makes sense, because he just lost Grogu, right? Well, we don't know exactly we don't know how, how long, long been, but right. you know, he still cares about the little guy. It's funny you bring up like we're talking like. It's, just, it's hilarious because Book of this Boba's is Book of Boba <laughs> Fett, right? It's, it's supposed to be about Boba Fett. But this episode wasn't, so it's okay that we're talking about No, I, and I get that, but it's is also... Is this the next episode I of was Book reading of Boba? a couple articles, and one article like really pointed out where it's like, you know, Mandalorian shows up and clearly... Like, Steals in the, the entire... In the first, thing. like, you know, 10, 15 minutes, you feel, for, you feel for this guy, right, who's going through this very complex levels of, like... Emotion in terms of like finding himself, figuring out who he is, like more than what you got they from did like more in this episode, Boba than, Fett. Yeah, and it's like, and the article that. goes on to be like, you know, Din has all these problems, like he's kicked out from his, what he knows, like he's lost like his best friend slash pet, and then you got Boba Fett who's pet? like, I want, I want to rule Jabba's yeah. palace because well, dot 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 well, well, <laughs> respect. Well, well, also props to Bryce Dallas Howard, the director for this yeah. episode. I yeah. think she like. Captured something in this episode that has been like I think really to me stood out was just like the lack of direction in those first four episodes, um, just in terms of like the pacing, the scope, the size, everything about Tatooine. Tatooine's also tough because it's like a desert planet, and we've spent four hours there now, right? And there's only so much you can do with sand, <laughs> like, you know, versus the the cool Halo Ring planet, yeah. whatever thing we got. Was amazing. I think they used a lot of cool cinematography. You know, a lot of the one long, shot, the long tracking shots. Yeah, to really show you a lot, of, like a lot of the rich detail that like we're finally getting versus just like, oh yay, more sand. Well, Chris, Chris just said it best when we were watching the episode. He's like Tatooine, the capital of the galaxy. <laughs> Because we spent I mean, so, we, much we, so much fucking time. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, on as, soon, as soon as Mando landed on in in Mos Eisley, I'm like, we're back at the yeah, we're the back in the sand of the, of the galaxy. Capital when, when of the, the galaxy. That first episode of Kenobi is gonna be like, oh great, we're on Kenobi. the fucking sand planet again. I, 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 I imagine, everywhere. especially with the Book of Boba mostly take. We talked about this last week, taking place on Tatooine. I imagine most of it will not be on Tatooine for Obi Wan. Just because to have two back to back live action shows just take place on a like three actually on a desert planet <laughs> three for the entire I think it day. only oh, yeah. it only so I mean I think you're right and I'm hoping that we are going to get more of these kind of weird spiritual force type stories in Kenobi and or flashbacks yes because it kind of doesn't make a lot of sense if like when the sh show takes place which is post episode four you know. Kenobi is supposed to be in hiding. If he's like running around the galaxy, <laughs> it doesn't make a lot of sense in terms of like. That's why he won't be running around. Bro, what He'll are you be doing? Around he's, the galaxy. Around. he's gonna he's gonna like be clean shaven and people won't recognize him. Yeah. Is yeah. this like uh was it Pete Davison's Batman? Yeah. Where's the commissioner? Yeah. Oh, yeah. glasses it, on, glasses on. Yeah, exactly. That's, Pete Holmes. Yeah, thank yeah, you. That's, Pete Davison. Yeah, Pete the Davison. Other, Pete Davidson is is Mr. Kardashian right now. Is he really? He's dating Kim Kardashian. Good for him. His life is going to get complicated. Anyway, one word impressions. How would you guys recap this episode? Pete Davidson. Uh, Mandalorian Season 3, Episode 1. I'm sorry, excuse me. Book of Boba Fett, Chapter 5. Uh, I'll go first, I guess. Yes, I was looking Halo. at Halo. Hey, yeah. uh, I mean, like I the Beyonce think the, song, the, uh, the 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 most visibly 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 striking thing I think about this episode was just the uh, 
the the ring in mm-hmm. space that holds a whole so they civilization. Co- they copied they- a couple of shots from episode five when you see the Star Destroyers yep. and the Super Star Destroyer in terms of scaling and everything. Mm-hmm. So there was a similar uh, shot when you're kind of up above the Halo ring and then a piece of it. That was a it. lot of callbacks in yeah. this episode. Oh, oh God. We got, we got callback we got a, central. We got a whole pod racing sequence. We got from fanfic one. from episode one, essentially, of a Nebu Starfighter yeah. <laughs> flying through the Tatooine pod racing yeah. circuit. And, and, that's, and I mean, it was incredible. It was amazing. <laughs> yeah. So I know on the, the Starfighter just how intense nerds get. So at one fr- there's a fr- single, like a f- single fucking frame in this episode where you can see some of the um, Nabu in these, I don't know, Nabu writing and Nabu circles and, and symbols in, on the cockpit in terms of like identifying the ship. Yeah. And they compared it to the star, Nabu Starfighter that Anakin flies in episode of one. I, I knew immediately and that was. It's different. Yeah. yeah. It yeah, wouldn't yeah. be the same one. No, definitely. I mean, it would be weird and cool and strange and. It would be annoying. It would be a little annoying because then it goes back to like, oh, this entire universe revolves around the Skywalkers. And it's yeah. just like, come on. I mean, it already does. We yeah. just, you know. But in a galaxy so big, you can only take so much coincidence. And, you know, and obviously people would explain like, oh, it's the Force connecting people. I'm like, enough. Enough. Is the Force really the story creators that make the Star Wars? That's what they would. That's how they explain it. I am the Force and the Force is with me. Question mark? Is that how it goes? Does that the quote I don't remember. from uh, that movie Rogue made one? me cry? Halo. So Halo, that's a good one. Yeah, but he's t- he's specifically referencing Halo, the Beyonce song, not Halo gotcha. the video game, right? No. Nailed it. You're like on a musical kick today. Oh, yeah. Did you listen to a bunch of Beyonce, Beyonce and Rihanna? We have Rihanna. No. I haven't listened to either of those today. Do you real quick when you drive up here to do this pod? Do you drive with What's music or do you like sit in silence? Or is it a I, podcast? I actually scream in silence. Oh. Wow. <laughs> I'm just screaming. Visible anguish. For 30 minutes. I'm getting my voice activated for the podcast. Uh, yeah. Arjun, do you have a one word impression? Yeah, for... mine's going to be galaxy. Wow, didn't even let me finish asking the question. <laughs> no, he just knew it. <laughs> galaxy? Yeah. I'm going to go I'm going to go with galaxy because I think this episode crystallized something to me that has been wrong like something that is fundamentally wrong with book of Boba the first part of the <laughs> besides everything no or Judah, real one quick one of the one real, of the, real quick sure. real quick fundamentally feels like a very strong word for a television show no look fundamentally we're not we're not here called was it holding back we're called was it good yeah. so we go all the way in and if it's fundamentally wrong to me then i'm going to say that all right, so this show is fundamentally the wrong. Fundamental issue, besides Boba Fett being a completely different character and just not interesting, is that Star Wars, to me, has always been about the idea of exploration and the exploration for the audience, not for the the characters. In terms, I was of- gonna say, are you confusing Star Wars <laughs> and Star Trek right now? <laughs> No, let me finish. Let me finish. Because, because real quick, yeah. I think the current like lead producers on the current generation of Star Trek, they have that problem <laughs> where they're like, "Wait, <laughs> is this about exploration?" <laughs> or I don't fucking know. No, but the issue, but the but what makes Star Wars so good is that it's a it's it's always felt big in scope, right? It's a big galaxy. You have all these different planets. Far, far away. You have all of these different ships, all of these different things that you you get to constantly see throughout the movies, the video games, the books. Every single piece of Star Wars media, like there's very few that just take place in one area, right? You're always jumping around to different places, different locales, different everything. Versus right now with Book of Boba episodes one through four, chapters, sorry, chapters one through four, you're stuck on this stupid sand planet with these stupid characters oh, doing stupid man. things. And you're like, get me out of this shit. This is why Luke left. It's maddening. I'm here. sorry. During your, your monologue right there, all I could think about was Nicole Kidman and the AMC commercial being like the movies. It's where you go to movies. escape. And then it would just cut to <laughs> fucking like a bantha. But, but like, but I'm Am I wrong though in terms of just no. saying that like Star Wars is about flexing and showing the different planets, the different ships, the different species all around, and we haven't gotten that. And this episode, to me, besides having obviously a superior character and um, you know a superior character in Din and just a a, a better storyline than what we've had, right. was was having that big Halo ring and the space exploration. 
and just jumping around to different places that we haven't had in Book of Boba. No, I definitely agree. It's nice seeing a bunch of different things that, sure, they maybe connect to things we've already seen, but at the same time, they're also new. They're they're yeah. fresh. Right. We're not revisiting the same old thing. Um, immediately, once I saw the Halo planet, I was asking Christian, I was like, have we seen this anywhere in canon Star Wars, in Expanded? Right. And then, you know, thinking about it, it's like, who cares to know? Right. It's something new. Enjoy right. it for yeah. what it is. Like, we a have, brand new thing. I did look into that. We have seen planetary rings before. Like, well, rings. there's construction yards. Like, uh, I'm gonna say it wrong. I want to say Kuwait, but Kessel? Not Kessel. It's it's like it starts with a K. It's a it's a shipyard planet with orbital rings, yeah. similar where they build the star star destroyers. Um, but we have not. But that did not appear to be like a planet. In no, the not like of this that. Ring. Like this. No, this did straight up look like it's a halo. Like a halo. Ring. Yeah, big time. You know. But like a cool Halo. Uh, what if we just saw Master Halo. Chief walk in, like you know, once? It, like, would you guys have just like lost it at that point? I, I would have been. I would have. I would have. Uh, I would have. I don't know. You would have like shit yourself. Yeah. Uh, my one word impression is going to be. We didn't ask, so we're good. Um, is going to be um, flashback. And I want to say flashback. I'm saying flashback because there was no flashbacks. Oh. And therefore, I'm happy. Maybe the entire episode was And it flashback. made me flash back to when I enjoyed watching Star Wars content mm. <laughs> and not dreading it week to week. I just want to point out, too, um, it's called Star Wars, not Tatooine Wars. <laughs> so, yeah. to Arjuna's point and yeah. the points that you've been making, it's good that we get out of Tatooine every once in a while. <laughs> it really, but now we're back on Tatooine. But, yeah. then, but then the episode ends with... Mando mm. saying to Fe- or actually Fennec shows up and is like, "Sup, boy?" She's like, "You want a job?" Boba Fett wants to help, wants some help, and he's like, "It's on the house." But then Fett, or Mando says, "I gotta go see someone." Um, we'll just jump into this question. Like, do we think we're seeing him off planet with like a Grogu next episode? I actually don't, and I think Christian disagrees with me on this. He agrees, disagrees with you on a lot of things, but. It's true. I, Fundamentally, I, I, <laughs> I think I think seeing I think having like the full Mando episode was obviously really cool and really good. Um, but if you do too much of oh, that, we disagree on that part. By the way, too. Anyway, keep going. Sorry. I mean, it was good. It was an entertaining episode in terms of oh yeah, just, do like, it, what we yeah. Got. But it's not. It's obviously. But it's bad for the it's show. Bad for the show. And if very you bad. Continue to do that. Then, don't, then it becomes what the fuck are we actually yeah, doing? Yeah, don't here? make a yeah. show called Book of Boba Fett. Yeah, and, and I think that's why I I think they're holding back Grogu and Mando being together on screen for Mando season three. I think to do that in Book of Boba Fett, then it's like this is the show is. But failed. then, but the then, because it it has to ultimately be about Boba Fett, right? But then, if you don't think you're gonna see Grogu and Fett or not Fett, Grogu and Mando together anytime soon, how is Mando? Going to be the muscle and help around with. He this has carpet. a really fast starship and can get there and back in an episode, so he won't be in the next episode, but he'll be in the finale. Maybe and then that's, what? That's and then maybe favorite. and then maybe Mandalorian season three picks up with his him meeting. Yeah, they Grover. might they might do something. Like keep that, that off screen. Yeah. The the other way to get around it is that we assume he has he, when he says I have to go see someone, he means Grogu. What if he means somebody else? Ahsoka. What if it's an Ahsoka? Uh, I don't know if he knows Han Solo. Um, but or or like a Cobb Vanth or I don't know I you don't know, know why you know visit them you know what but meeting an Ahsoka makes more sense than meeting Grogu because Grogu is training God knows where with Luke yeah and Ahsoka is probably going to be able to find them easier than him finding them right well That's I guess true. I guess the question is we don't know how public. Uh, the new Jedi Order and their the armor. Is, the right? armor also says it too, right? That's true. Where she says Jedi, a quest. Um, well, Jedi don't form attachments. That's part of their like way, which is the opposite, right? So Luke would not pr- like publicly tell or like let Gro- let Luke would not let the Mando know where Grogu is because Luke, through his training, wouldn't want Grogu. Grogu to have attachment, attachment to the yeah. Mando. Yeah. So I think it. Ha- I think you're. I think it's. Or June is correct in the sense that we won't see them together, but I do think we will see like an Ahsoka, because um, an Ahsoka makes sense in terms of connecting and being able to give whatever. Uh, I don't think we'll see whoever he's who whoever he's seeking out. Because, this is an off-screen thing. Yeah, I, I think it's just a reason to explain. Okay, Mando's going to disappear for an episode. It also probably, like you said, 
gives a little bit more to like the season premiere of Mandalorian. Like this episode really <laughs> the only thing it serves for Book of Boba Fett is getting man is getting Din to Tatooine so he can be recruited into Boba's army. But obviously it does a lot of service for Mandalorian season Tons. three in terms of showing where Din is emotionally and physically in his journey, you know, getting a new ship, kind of having a reset. Getting kicked out it's, of the Mandalorian. It's almost a, I mean, if you look at it in a lot of ways, it's almost like a reset of the pilot of Mandalorian season mm-hmm. one. I mean, even the opening scene and the dialogue. Yeah, oh, super similar. You know, I can bring you in. I can bring you in, you know, I can bring you hard. I can bring, bring you in cold, cold. And he brings him in cold, obviously, this time. And you cut. You, Brutal. But let's talk about the brutality of uh, Din here, where he just straight up. Stabs a guy and then for good measure cuts him in half and then for third good measure chops his head off. Well, well no, only, no, at that no. point you only need the head. Well, no, hold on a second. <laughs> he cut him in half to finish the job. Yeah, he'd already killed him though. No, the guy was still moving. Yeah, he was still I, moving. I got the he lifted that. him, threw him on the table, yeah. and then he cut, cut him, him in half, half uh, to to end him. You have to cut him in half. Though. Yes, he did. I mean, what about his family? What family? He could have had family. But, but family. He's, he's a bounty hunter. Cut them in. No, half I understand too. that. So. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like some filet of fillet fish. fish. But I mean, this is clearly a, a more brutal din than what we saw in season two um, of Mandalorian because the chi- you know, Grogu's no, no longer around to necessarily like watch him. I wouldn't say this is a more brutal. I would say I think this so. is, I think it's, it's Mando being Mando. He's being ca- like a more brutal, like to me, being more brutal, especially when you're like on screen, more brutal would be when he saw the rest of the like butchers. He would have just – he wouldn't have said anything. He would have just started shooting or taking his sword out, yeah. whatever. In, in this – he w- he was the same in the sense that he was trying to be diplomatic and yeah. trying to find a peaceful sure. solution. And then it just wasn't there. Yeah. They didn't offer him one. Uh, I, I took that more as like he was in a lot of physical pain. So he had to get that fight over with. Because, <laughs> because he stabbed like, himself. Because he stabbed himself. And I missed that too. I thought he got shot. Yeah. But apparently, no, he stabbed yeah, he, himself. No, yeah, when he, when he has the hilt, like it, it, it yeah. chops yeah, yeah. Because it's heavier. He fillets some skin. He filleted himself, yeah. God, I would love a fillet of fish right now. How do you guys think the like free, you know, the, the technology they use? And it's not obviously just used in Star Wars. It's used in a lot of sci-fi, like the kind of cold. So that's a real thing. gun, and then they're just like fine. So like you just walk after that. Well, it's not that you, I mean, in sci-fi, sure, but, like, there is a similar, like, fast-reacting yeah. sealant for right. burns and for, like, cuts that they use in the military and in uh, trauma-type things. Right. Uh, I don't know, though, if it will allow you to walk, but probably walk better than it being open. At least like it's not the room. magical knee brace from Dark Knight Rises. <laughs> so that I can't speak to. <laughs> when, you know, you get a knee, you have a limp, you have a cane, you get that knee brace, and not only can you walk fine. You can fly! You can <laughs> kick through concrete. <laughs> Hey, money can buy a lot of things. Yeah, money can buy anything. <laughs> it just kind of crunches your knee. You Have you looked at LeBron James's year. hairline? Have you looked at Tom Brady? These are just examples of what money can do to make you physically better. Mm. Elon yeah. Musk is not a good example of this. He looks a lot. He looks like a thick boy. Anyway. Wow. Ooh. Um, lots of Phantom Menace vibes that we got. Obviously, Naboo Star. Phantom fighting. Menace love letter. <laughs> yeah, this was. I love that. I love. I it. feel like no. Bryce Dallas Howard. It's great. Was actually a fan of Phantom Menace, and when she directed all? this, she was like, "I'm gonna redo the like some of the shots they're showing of the Naboo Starfighter is. Oh, it, yeah. it feels like it's the same shots almost from Phantom Menace. So great looking was, Starfighter, uh, by the way. It was nice in the Mando colors. Are you gonna yeah. buy the Lego set when it inevitably comes out? Maybe, because I have the uh, I have the uh, I have the original Nabu Starfighter Lego set, you right? Do? The, Where? With the yellow, um, I don't know. It's in my room. Uh, so getting, and I like how this one's like a little bit more bulky. It's like yeah. a little bit got a little well, bit more armored, out. more like a thick boy, it. like a you know, it's like a like a bounty hunter Starfighter, not a, a little annoying brats. Uh, Yippee! Yeah, that guy Yippee! Starfighter. So yeah, I, I think I would get it. That's pretty dope. Yeah. Um. I'd la- I would I mean, when they were building and they had the building montage, I did. I said to Christian, I was like, oh, wouldn't it be funny if this thing just fucking blows up? Yeah, I, I did know. think that. I think I don't think we're going to actually see it come season three of Mandalorian, whenever that shows. I don't think it's going to be there. You don't think so? No. I think it's just it's an in-between up? ship. No. Just like things like the best car spear, I, the rifle, no, the razor like crest. too much time. Yeah. Like the, the, yeah, half of the episode is dedicated to making this ship. You yeah. know what I'm saying? It, exactly. It seems I'm like it's too it. much time to just kind of throw away, especially at the beginning of season three. What I think is going to happen is he's going to get an even bigger ship 
that he can dock the Starfighter into. He, he will get a Razor Crest? He's going to get no a big, something bigger than that. He's going to get like a Star Destroyer. It's bigger than a Razor Crest. Oh my God. A Star Destroyer. <laughs> a, star de- a Bounty Hunter with a Star Destroyer? <laughs> <laughs> Our producer just threw up um, oh, a side-by-side comparison of young Elon Musk and uh, so, you know, somewhat close to present-day Elon Musk. Money can buy hair. Yeah. Some Money stuff. can buy hair. Yeah. Looks and like he got some, got some fillers in there too, you know? Jeez. But uh, anyways. Anyway, uh, enough about Elon. This is in his podcast. <laughs> Was it Elon? Was it Elon? Uh, that's cool. So, Leia, a lot of Phantom Menace stuff. Um, question. So, Armor obviously gives a lot of backstory onto oh, yeah. the uh, thousand, was it a thousand cries, a thousand nights, a thousand burns? The night of a thousand tears. Thank you. <laughs> I think it was. Uh, and we actually saw like the. Well, we should all be familiar with, you know, the main hub, uh, the dome structure on Mandalore saw it blow up. that we actually see a lot of uh, in Clone Wars and the end of the Clone Wars. Uh, we actually saw it nuked, and then we got a whole Terminator sequence. With K2SO cool. cloned. Like, or, or K2, robots. I guess K2 they're K2 models. models yeah. K2 models, yeah. K2 models, yeah. yeah. Um, oh, first of all, I did not know the Empire had that many TIE bombers that they could deploy at once and basically blow up a planet. Yeah. Why didn't they just do that more often than like trying to use a Death Star? It's more efficient with the Death Star. Yeah, well, Death Star is way more efficient. Versus, you know, think of all the overtime you have to pay those like tie bombs. Well, not only that, but if there's <laughs> anti-air like craft weaponry, they'll be shooting them down. Well, if you just show up in your big nipple in space, <laughs> your big boob, big boop. nipple, God, big boob. it's just more it's efficiency, right? And the Empire, let's be honest, as the Armory said, they lasted thirty years. Oh yeah, but yeah, yeah I mean, there was a lot of. There was a lot of negativity towards Bo Katan. They basically, you know, Armor was basically blaming her for the end of Mandalore and said she got it the wrong way, which we know, as we saw in Rebels, that um, Sabine just gives her the Darksaber. Which she is, yields. Which is why it makes sense at the end of now Mando season two, she's so reluctant to just take it from Din. Right. And obviously we now know, because remember, it was kind of hel- held on that cliffhanger of like, is he going to take it? Is he going to travel with them now? What is he going to do? Well, he clearly kept it, and then he left them. <laughs> yeah, he left them and went to go find his people, and then his people were like, nah, brah. <laughs> yeah, he took off his helmet. Well, remember, the armor says the only way to be forgiven is a, basically a D&D quest to some mines on Mandalore, but they're all... The mines of... But they've been destroyed. The mines of Mandalore. Um, <laughs> and clearly, like, that is going to be, I think... A big piece of season three yeah. is these mines on Mandalore. You think so? I think everything. Oh, you, oh so you think he's going to try and get there and then? I think everything forgive, around the dark saber and yeah. and Mandalore. Like I think that is what the Mandalorian season three is going to be about. That's awesome. That's a um, fucking great quest. I think that's a great quest because <laughs> like, even if like Grogu comes back, like Grogu, I don't think he's going to come back. It just doesn't make a lot of sense for. Like, they spent all this time connecting with him with a Jedi. Why would you just all of a sudden be like, nah, I don't really want to do this I think this he anymore. will show up in the season, though. It would yeah. be a mistake if yeah. he was not He'll in definitely show up, but he won't be a key. Swaps. I don't think he'll be a key thing. Uh, yeah. I do, one, th- one thing I do think is interesting with this episode, the, the fight, obviously, that um, Paz has with Din over the Darksaber. <laughs> Paz. Past uh, I think is also <laughs> another indicator of what season three is going to bring. Like, I think the dark saber is going to give Din a lot of unwanted attention, much like Grogu did. Right? Mm-hmm. This is the dark saber is his new Grogu now. <laughs> uh, in terms of just like, <laughs> it is a mystical weapon just that as cute. Uh, obviously a lot of people know about and have uh, held and have, and have held and are going to want from him. So that is going to, I think, you know. Pull him into situations. Well, we he was we see that with Paz Vizsla. Yeah. He fight. He so he challenges him yeah. for the the blade. Yeah. So, I mean, it was and, he, nice and he's beating his ass for most of the fight. Before we get into speculation lane, one question I have. Um, obviously, Armor gives that whole story right about the history of Mandalore. Why couldn't everything we saw with you know Boba Fett and the Tusken Raiders? Why couldn't we have just done that? Just a quick little two minute flashback thing, and then because, because we're done with you it. You want to learn, you want to, at least my thinking <laughs> for their thinking <laughs> is that they wanted to show the progression of Boba. I, I agree with you, but you know, they were, and also, 
you have to make more episodes. <laughs> Thank you. I think that's the correct yeah. answer. You have to but, make but more why episodes. Do you have, but the Disney Plus is also know. Disney Plus, and then the streaming age in, in general have proven like you don't. We don't live in the you age can do of you television want. anymore. Where you're like, oh, you got to hit 22 episodes and air over October to May and have mid-season sweeps and all that type of stuff and hit 22 minutes for every episode or whatever. Because it's like you can have any episode count you want and mm-hmm. any episode length you want. And it's like, is there a version where Book of Boba is like a three-episode thing and it's a lot better than like whatever this dragged-out thing is? That we can I, I wonder, 100%. like, if you just cut out all the flashbacks. But some of the flashbacks are good. Like yeah. episode, two episode two in particular, like those mm. flashbacks are really good. And I, like I think really stand out as being the best part of those flashbacks. But you're right. A lot of the other flashback parts aren't that good. I mean, I, honestly, I will save, a lot of I'll present save, day stuff isn't that good either. I'll save it till <laughs> we see how this all wraps up. But I would make the early argument that you could remove all the flashbacks, make it shorter, and it would have been a lot better. Because it would have moved, pacing wise, it would have moved a lot quicker. I would have preferred if all the flashbacks were like an episode. Like it was it's just one episode, one off episode. Like, like yeah. you, you actually instead of starting from the entry point of where we left off at Mando season two with him killing Bib and taking the throne over, just start with him crawling out of the Sarlacc pit and catching up to Mando. And then episode two is what he's doing, getting the, the gang, stuff. all that yeah, fun exactly. stuff. Yeah, I yeah. think they've gotten too cute with the whole the, the title structure. being like Book of Boba Fett. They've tried to make this a like they've called the episodes chapters. They tried they're doing like different POV chapters now with like Mando. They're doing like flashbacks with present day, like trying to go back and forth. I think they're getting too cute with the narrative stuff instead of just being a little bit more straightforward. Like they've they've tried three or four different narrative structures instead of just kind of sticking to one. That's a lot and of That's silence. all you have to say about Oh no, I was trying to scroll down here on this outline. <sighs> Um, uh, speculation lane, guys, where we just jump around and speculate, speculate on the lane. We ask questions about life. Wow. Let's ask the big question, though. Robert Rodriguez, is oh. he is he a bad director? <laughs> yes. When it comes to television <laughs> content. And I, I don't know if I've seen too much other stuff of his. But well, you've seen his movies. I, I don't oh. think I have. I, I have never th- saw Spy Kids. Oh. I watched great movie by the way. His half of Grindhouse, I thought was entertaining. He um, does, he does like his other like the stuff that he's done with Antonio Banderas with uh, Danny Drejo, like the Grindhouse stuff, the Once Upon a Time Mexico stuff, yeah. like oh, that oh, yeah. entire Once Upon a Time, that, yeah. that's a good movie. All yeah, really, like really that. good, solid stuff. I have not seen him anything he's directed in terms of like a te- television f- like format except that one episode of Mando season two, mm. which was a really, really strong, right. really good episode. But yeah, this is a whole, like, it's just not hitting it. The show has felt like it's lacked a lot of direction. And, you know, Rodriguez's name has obviously been plastered a lot for this show. But we mm-hmm. also do have to remember, John Favreau and Dave Filoni are still also EPs on this show. So well. it's also their fault. Oh, too. yeah. Um, it almost makes me feel like they knew this show was going to be bad and, like, put Robert's name at the <laughs> <laughs> Oh, man, he's the fall guy. He's, it That's kind hilarious. of feels that way a little bit, no? Like, Oh, I, I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> Um, that's speculation that but I. But I think again, I think this <laughs> this episode in particular like highlighted that lack of focus that we've kind of gotten in the first four episodes, and just even some of the smaller details of like the passage of time, right? And, and something we kind of belabored mm. in like episodes three and four in particular of like, wait, so five years just passed? Wait, what? Like, how, yeah. how do we know that? Yeah. You know, that they didn't necessarily do a good time, a good job there of, of displaying that versus like. This episode was just so on key in terms of just kind of delving right back into the the Mando feel and giving you everything you love about that show in terms of the pacing, the feel, the style, the cinematography, the character, the, the lighting, just, even the character just himself felt, yeah. is just compelling. Yeah, like it, he doesn't have to say or do much, and you're just immediately drawn to him. Yeah. I am Din. It's very. <laughs> or, I mean, I, again, to like the point where there is little direction here. Um, and making it cohesive, I wonder if like Bryce Dallas Howard would have been better. It's just been like, here you direct the whole book of Boba thing, and let Robert Rodriguez just be kind of like an do an MP, episode here, do an there. episode or whatever, like reverse Maybe. it essentially. I wonder if that would have been better overall. Um, but then again, it's also very possible. You know, the bigger question, and again, we have to kind of refrain from a- um, answering this until the whole thing's done. Do we even need a book of Boba? No. 
Like, maybe what, do you what th- is it? What is it going to like with the effects and the result? Like the, you know, what happens in Mandalorian seasons one and two? There are some bigger implications in terms of a galaxy thing. Uh, Book of Boba right now is just Tatooine, the capital of the galaxy. The pikes. And it's just the pikes and some other some stuff. Spice. But right as of right now, there's know. not a lot of like big galaxy level implications. All Book of Boba has done is take a kind of a cool character and made him worse. <laughs> if, if that is what a show has done, the show is not good. Yeah. And worse than that is completely unnecessary. And worse than that is detrimental. Mm. You know, all they've done is, oh, man, I'm, yeah, anyways. You're very, you're very upset. Krishna seems bitter. Do you not like books anymore? I haven't liked books in a long time. I let's, uh, <laughs> let's, let's get into bold predictions here. So we obviously have a couple season-long ones going, and then we had our episode-specific ones. Season ones, just to remind, Krishna had said uh, penultimate, what is it? Old West showdown between Boba and Cad Bane. Cad Bane. Where so, Cad Bane will die. Yeah. Cad will be paid by Paul Giamatti um, or Tom Hardy. You can't add anymore. It's Paul <laughs> Giamatti or Bust. Now. Yep. Uh, I said Boba ship will blow up. Uh, Arjuna says Omega will show up. So every, all these. still in play. Everything is still in play. My, mine falls off the board, though, next episode since it's the penultimate yep. episode. So next so. week will be the more interesting one for these uh, bull predictions. Um, specifically for episode five bull predictions, Christian has said Carl Vanth will appear in, the, uh, the, in this episode and connect Boba to his armor. Um, I thought that was lame, and uh, I'm glad it didn't happen because fuck flashbacks. FF. Hmm. Fuck that could have been a conversation. <laughs> it could have uh, just been but part anyway, of our Juna's nice. mythical flashback episode that never happened. I still happened. think Carl Vance is showing up. I'm sure he'll show up, but I'm glad that we're not getting like a flashback thing where it's like I kind of show's not. I open. don't. I don't need to see that. <laughs> it's it's, yeah, you're, there's two episodes left. Yeah, um, I said the Millennium Falcon will show up at the end of the episode. That did not happen. You got at a all. Naboo Starfighter instead. I got a Naboo Starfighter. So it's a consolation prize. <laughs> kind of works. Yeah. And then our junior says, flashback to uh, Santi as a young Wookiee in the mines. That, uh, that reference to a mine. <laughs> it's true. <laughs> no Wookiees, though. No, no Wookiees. No Wookiees yeah. uh, so for episode six, you know, or chapter six of Book of Boba Fett. Oh, oh chapter six. Oh, um, Boba will let's die. Get, let's get super bold here, okay? <laughs> do you have a, do you want to start then? Um, oh, sure. Good, I will start. Bold. Great. And I'm going to go with... Uh, Grogu, Luke Skywalker, Boba Fett, um, Ahsoka Tano, damn, Jesus, Mandalorian, Din are gonna, yeah, Din, Jaren are all gonna be in a scene together. Do you oh, take it one step further? Oh, and Fennec will be there too. Did they all? film at the same time where they all physically in the room filming together i mean i won't know until after the you episode. have to bolt you got to be bold right now did they all film together or not and hold on a second hold on and it will all take place on tatooine <laughs> oh, no and luke will like comment on the fact that it's on fucking tatooine <laughs> jesus well, black Christ. chrysanthemum didn't be there no what no. he's part of the army he's just also oh, another character God. that's just there for the sake of being there um but yeah that's my bold insane prediction and then there's going to be a lot of cosplayers that are going to try and recreate that photo. Hmm. That's my follow-up bold prediction. That is oh, quite a bold prediction. I'm going to guess that does not happen. You know, That's we, not my bold you prediction. You know we know enough people that we could just recreate that if we wanted to? Yeah. We should probably... Let's just do it. Let's just make our own Mandalorian. Might as well. Yeah. It's a good project. Easy. I How mean, hard that, could it be? Wasn't that what they were doing with Star Wars? Like between, you know, uh, Revenge of the Sith and when the Disney brought the... This Disney bought Star Wars. I mean, like fan films. Shows. Yeah, there's like a lot of fan films. I mean, there's that, still that a ton of fan years. films. Like it's gotten they just a lot get better. Pulled down more. It feels like. I mean, they yeah. get they get they get cease and desist yeah. all the time from Lucas right. and Disney, unfortunately. Uh, Christian, your bold prediction. Ooh, yeah. Um, my bold prediction is that uh, we're we'll switch over to God. Um. Juna, you go. I gotta think some more. Juna, you <laughs> yeah. go. Juna, Juna, Juna. Juna. <laughs> uh, I think this episode will be a Boba Fett recruits a shit ton of people episode, and we're gonna get a fuck ton of Star Wars cameos. Jar Jar. 
not Jar Jar. <laughs> when you say, well, can you be more specific? Like, when yeah, you say who? Star Wars, are you talking like across the movies, across yeah, I bet, uh, like, comics? Yeah, I get we get like, I bet we get like a Bosk. I bet we get Cobb Vanth. I bet we get other characters who we wouldn't think Boba might run into, but have like appeared in the universe and, and whatnot. Before. What would you do if it's like Rex? Captain Rex mm. is like one of these people. I, I mean, it'd be, it would or make like sense. one of the members of the Bad Batch. You have, you have, you have Tem. He could just play them. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody <laughs> made a joke of like, if they decide to do like a, take an episode of the Clone Wars and make it a live action and the casting would just be tomorrow Morrison, tomorrow Morrison, tomorrow Morrison, tomorrow Morrison. <laughs> It, it's amazing. it's like a, do you remember uh, X Men First Class? Mm-hmm. You remember the scene where it's just um, Magneto and Xavier just going around to a bunch of mutants recruiting them? Yeah, and uh, it's gonna be like that type of montage, and it'll it'll finish with like a big cameo like they did with Hugh Jackman as yep. Wolverine, and he's like, "Go fuck yourself, buddy!" And it'll be like some, it'll be like him going up to Han. And like Han Solo will appear and be like, "Go fuck yourself, buddy." I would love that. <laughs> that if they do that, I will. Be I learned. will. I'll Especially say that. I'll history. say the whole series is good. <laughs> I'll wow. call it right then. I'll be like, "The series is good. We don't. We don't have to do any more pods on it. We're good. We're done." Wow. Yeah. Uh, Christian, did you figure it out yet? Uh, I'm just to say. Are our two bold predictions blowing out anything you can come I'll up be, with? Yeah, absolutely. That's exactly. Then go right. bolder. Go yeah. bolder. Yeah. Be like. The storm from X Men. Be like Obi Wan Kenobi's um, ghost will come and tells Luke that Qui Gon has a quest for him on Tatooine. Or like, Boba runs into an old man Mace Windu and decides to kill him. Or Kathleen Kennedy decides oh, to copy every other person no, in no, Hollywood no, no, no. and make a cameo. Here we go. Here we go. They're gonna bring in Cara Dune. It's gonna get recruited, oh, and they're God. gonna kill her in the next episode like, to like, deal with the problem. Wait, with like Gina Carano or like yes. recast? No, no, no. They're gonna bring her in, Gina Carano. She can't turn down the paycheck, and they're gonna just kill her in the next episode. I don't. Th- and but, then boom. But the problem, problem solved. The problem though is like I don't <laughs> think Gina Carano. I know she won't. She well like change it that she's been recast and then kills the character because that to me is. It's a bold prediction, and it's more likely to happen than Gina Carano nope, Gina. showing up on set and being like, yes, bold. go ahead and kill my character because you hate me as a human being. No, no. So this is how they're going to do it. So they're not going to tell her that she's going to die. She's going to be in like a ship. That <laughs> the ship blows up. She'll never know. She won't that's, know until she sees it. That's a good point, Boom. actually. And over. All right. That's a good bold prediction. Hands. Oh, man. Kill two, like seven birds with one stone. Or oh, one blaster. Bold. Or do you think they'll do like what they did with Asajj Ventress and do, do her dirty and just kill her character in a book? Honestly, I wouldn't put it past them. Is that still canon though? Yeah, mm. it's uh, the I want to say Dark Disciple book, but that, that is, doesn't it is feel Dark right. Disciple. Yeah. yeah, yeah, and that's a canon book, I believe, because it was based off of unmade Clone Wars. Uh, yeah, content storyboard content. Yeah. All righty, Christian. As you went last with your bold predictions, you can ask first. Okay. In terms of the question. That is the name of this podcast. All right. Like what we did there? What was a dude. It was chapter five. Five of Book of Boba. Good, Raffi. Long pause. It is a long pause because, oh, man. We're talking we're about this uh, uh, break from our sponsor, uh, <laughs> Snickers. I don't Snickers. know yourself when you're hungry. Wait, yeah. can wait? Don't can you have somebody else? <laughs> no, oh, you're man. Dead. Fine. Oh, All right. Um. Uh. Fuck. Fuck. Us is so complicated. I'm gonna say no. Wow, and I hate you're myself. all kinds of backwards. Right? I am so backwards. How are you gonna say last week's episode was good? Sure. Yeah, and then call this episode bad. Ravi has a, <laughs> a, a shifting scale. Yes, yeah. I do. It bad. changes every. Second. The reason I say it was I say no is because it's not Book of Boba Fett. It is. It's better. That's right. It's, <laughs> it is 100 percent better. Like in contained, like this self-contained episode is not. To me, part of the Book of Boba Fett, it is his own thing, which is Mandalorian Season 3. Like, the running internet joke is, oh, what did you think of Mandalorian Season 3? Season premiere one, of, right? uh, yeah, And therefore, if it is that, and that's what my brain is going with, then there is no Book of, Fo- Book of Boba Fett Chapter 5. It just doesn't exist. So therefore, yes, it is bad. So no, it was not good. Yeah. Boom. A no was- Boba Fett better than any Boba Fett. Uh, based At on what I've point, seen, yes. yes, I don't know, I don't know. It's sad, but Arjuna true. was Book of Boba Fett chapter five, 
the return of the Mandalorian good? Yes, it was good because it wasn't what we've gotten. <laughs> you can separate you can separate the the content of the actual episode is very good and it is very Star Wars and it was very entertaining and it potentially saves the show because like it's actually good content and you're probably pulling in like more Mandalorian fans now too because I don't know obviously Disney Plus doesn't release the numbers of their episodes but I have to imagine just based off like social conversation. Yeah, it's gonna get a spike. It's gonna get a spike. And yeah. it was it was trending last night. I stayed up till midnight to watch the episode as I do every week. Last week's was not trending. Uh, right. And and the last few haven't, but this one obviously got the conversation back up and going. And especially where it's dropped, like people are gonna tune in more now for episode six and seven. Especially the way episode five ends with it teasing Grogu. You know people are gonna be tuning in. I gotta get six. my Grogu yeah. fix. Yeah. And, and waiting for Grogu. Nuggies. Yeah, I mean, I, everyone's I, waiting for I Grogu. Might I might actually stay up till midnight. Yeah, and watch exactly it. because you because you hope it's more Mandalorian and not more Boba. And better to get disappointed before bed than after. Also true. Instead of waking up and then being disappointed, that ruins your whole day. Uh, I think I'd mm, interesting. Yeah, I'd rather do it in the morning. And you have all, all day to get over it, but then you're disappointed. And then you go to bed. That would be the worst. Well, then it's over. You know, yeah, but then the you go to bed day. disappointed. Yeah, it's yeah. all over when you go I don't sleep anyway. when I'm disappointed. Anyway, that's not what this is about. <laughs> Krishna, answer this correctly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It, we don't, you don't have to overthink this. It, of course it was good. If it, what, based on what I saw on the screen, I was entertained. It was easily the best all season. Ravi, you are right. Uh, Thank, you. It, 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 Thank you. Thank you for your time. It connects to Book of Boba. Right. It doesn't change the fact is, if I want to see this episode, I have to go into the Book of Boba yeah. streaming show on Disney+. Plus. Mm. So for better or worse, it is still considered or it's still part of the Book of Boba show. So If Disney's smart, when they do release season three and like, you go into the drop-down menu and you go into season three. Yeah, you'd three, put this in there. This will be like season three, episode zero. Yeah. That's what they should do, honestly. Because... Uh, it's a little That'd bit unfair nice. that you have to watch the show to get this pivotal Mandalorian information. Right. Yeah. Which, again, uh, to my point, like makes it not Book of Boba. It makes it Mandalorian. Yeah, and uh, the episode is a, it's, it's the best episode of the show, but it's also, the, like we said at the top, it's a pure indictment on what the show has been. And it super, super, super highlights all of the issues with the show. It's yeah. synergy in action. It, well, like if that. synergy means uh, destroying the property, yeah, yeah, then destroying yes. the book of Boba, yeah. then yeah, perfect. Yes, man. And that's gonna do it for us here. And was it good? As always, you can find us on youtubecom slash Was It Good. We live stream our pods there every Friday. We are on TikTok and Instagram at Was It Good Pod. On Twitter at Was It Good. Our website Was It Good Info has some really cool blogs. Definitely check those posts out. And we will see you for something uh, this coming Friday. We haven't actually discussed it It'll yet. It'll be our 200th episode. I think we should not review anything and just kind of uh, sit here in quiet. Yeah. Wow. That'd be, that that'd would be make a... for riveting you know, video and podcast for sure. Do you think make you... Make your own episode of Was It Good <laughs> while we just sit here quietly. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. We'll try that. Anyway, goodbye. Goodbye. We are Was It Good. <laughs>